In this video, I want to show you how to design this simple meal planner in Microsoft Word document. If, you, if you're designing a meal planner inside Microsoft Word document, then you can easily insert it inside your book while you're writing the book with Microsoft Word document. It will be the same size with the book and everything will be okay. It will be like a continuation of the book. This is the meal planner we're going to design in this video and I'm going to leave the template on my community platform. If you want the template, you can log into my community platform and get the template. The link will be in the description you can click on it and get this template then you can modify it the way you want designing a, a meal planner in microsoft word is not hard it's actually easy the only limitation is that it when you're using a paper size of 5.5 by 8.5 you're limited that's why you can only see that i have breakfast lunch and dinner i don't have desserts and i don't have snacks because i don't want this meal planner to jump on the next page but this is okay this can still work for for us so without wasting time let's begin as you can see i've opened my microsoft word document first things first in order to design this meal planner the first thing you need to do is set the paper size so to set the paper size you'll come to layout then from layout come to size from size then you select statement which is 5.5 by 8.5 inches you click and most people are using that as their books and go to margins click on margins you put it on moderate and you go to margins again because this is the first page you want to design so you go to margins again then you go to custom margins down here click on it from there you're going to go to layout which is here click on layout after that you click on borders which is down here click on borders and then from borders you sell you scroll through here make sure you're on page border and you scroll through here to find a good border let's use this first one so i'll click on it because i like it now i can select here and 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 select first page only so i click on this and then i click on okay the next thing to do is to type the word weekly meal planner here yeah, so i'll type weekly meal plan so I've typed the word weekly meal planner. After that, you increase the size of the words. So first of all, you come here and change the, the first letters to capital. Change the first letter to capital. So the word weekly, then you move these ones down. Then you move this meal planner, this planner also down. So then you, sh you increase the size of this, come to home, come to this capital A, click on this. It says increase font size, so you increase the font size. As you can see, it's increasing font size. After that, you, you click on the font and change the font. So I'll click here and I change the font to maybe this one. As you can see, that one. Weekly Mail Planner. So I, sh I change the font to that. Then increase the size again. Okay, maybe that. And then I center it. Uh-huh. Then let me deal with the word mail now. So I, I highlight the word mail. Increase the size. Increase the size. Then change the font. Click here and change the font to elephant. So as you can see now, how weekly mail then the word planner i also change the size of the word planner so increase the size move it in the middle let's move this one also in the middle then increase the size of this increase the size of the word planner change the cap the p to capital you know, change the p to capital uh -huh. so i have planner here change the change it to capital and then change the font elephant also and then increase the size a little that's too much reduce it so as you can see i have it here now i have got weekly mail and planner as you can see the words are, are scattered so in order to bridge the gap between the words i have to highlight all of them highlight this highlight this and highlight this after that i click control one control one so i click control one and to reduce the gap then as you can see the gap is still there so i already i want to reduce it more so i highlight all of it i come to this i click on this after that, I click on uh, line spacing options. I click on line spacing options. As you can see, the here we are saying 1.25 pt. You reduce this to zero. To zero, and then you click OK. As you can see, there was something which happened. So now all I have to do is first change this one to capital. So I want it to be capital completely, uppercase. So mil. That looks better. <laughs> Even this, I want it in capital. So I'll change it to uppercase. So weekly mail planner as you can see now i have this then i can bold this bold this aha so i have the first page which says weekly mail planner now from here i can decide to add an image or not so i can even just leave it like this instead of adding an image i don't want to complicate life with images then in the weekly mail planner i have to define the elements inside the weekly mail planner for example i've been using b for breakfast l for lunch so 
for that i'll use something i call key for example when you're doing a map you have to write this thing called key so i write key here and reduce it reduce this to a smaller size even you can change the font maybe libre baskerville then you move it around here then uh, you can now define you said b stands for what for breakfast breakfast then you can say l capital l stands for lunch then capital d stands for dinner so as you can see now i have a key here which is defining everything i can reduce this to maybe to that i can reduce it to that then i i stop it from being bold remove the boldness and just leave these ones to be bold leave this b bold leave the l bold and leave the d bold then from here i go ahead and hide underline this one just click on this u with underlining underline it so as you can see how the back cover of the mail planner and it is defined now as you can see i've written weekly mail and planner then I, I did the key and i defined the key so i want to reduce this to a smaller so somehow smaller size because it's looking too big so i can leave it at that point at that point i think it's good now i want to balance this side i cannot leave this side empty so i have to put something let me put a triangle so to put a triangle i come to insert come to shapes look for a triangle and put it there so let me say this one so i'll just drag and drag it up to like here then i can be turn it around yes i can turn it around then i can stretch it like that something like that and i color it black mm -hmm. that actually looks somehow better so that is my first page so next it's time to draw them the real actual meal planner so you come here to insert click on insert click on insert and then you click on blank page which says blank page you click on it and to bring for your blank page here now on this blank page you're going to be creating uh, a table so you go to table where they're saying tables you click on this and it has to be something which has only there are seven days in a week so it has to be a weekly so i want to create table seven rows and seven columns Click here, say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are seven columns. Those are enough. Then I can come here to this lower part. As I see that cursor has come, you drag it, drag it down, drag it down up like here. Then you, you see this. You can drag. If I drag this, you can first drag this down, this line. That means the the foot the footer is is stopping there. So I can leave it there. Then I come here, come back here and drag it until it is down here so i can leave it here now first of all i, have to, I want to i want i want the, the border i want to change the border the way the border looks so i can come up here i first highlight click here then come up here and tap there as you can see the lines have changed so i click on this and change the lines now from here all i have to do is is write monday to to sun, sunday so I start here capital monday i want to reduce it you a certain size which is like maybe 18 so reduce it to like 18 there 18 is okay 18 then reduce this to 18 and then friday right friday and then reduce it to also 18 18 reduce this to also 18 so as you can see now i have from monday friday and they're all in eight from in 18 now from here all you have to do is add another line here so to add another line all you have to do is come to insert tables click on uh, draw tables and you come here and draw a table you want to draw a line straight line like that yes so as you can see it's a straight line from here up to here now you can name this line now from up behind this line now i can write my breakfast And reduce it to 20 then lunch put l okay reduce this to 18 reduce this was also to 18 these two use them to 18 and then add your dinner capital d and reduce it also to 18 
ndio zetu 18 so after reducing to 18 you copy you highlight them highlight this line copy it and then start pasting it paste it here paste it also here pasting also here paste it from monday to friday so paste and finally paste so this is the complete now you can make it bold make all of them bold just make it bold that is it now someone can write here when they they say maybe on monday their breakfast their lunch and their dinner now this is already a complete meal plan as